and throw the shoulders back, drop them down. Take a few nice deep breaths, connecting to your core, lifting through the crown of the head, chin parallel to the floor. Inhale the hands over the head and sit back in chair. You can sit a little deeper or stay a little higher, whatever suits you at the moment. Exhale forward, fold. And you can sway back and forth here. Inhale, look ahead of you. Step it back, plank. Pull the belly in, press the heels away from you. Engage the quadriceps, fire up the shoulders. And you can shift your hips side to side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, then eighteen, nineteen, twenty, chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Chaturanga, downward facing dog. Inhale the right leg up. Step it through, high lunge. Ten quick step ins. You can keep the front leg in a bent position so the muscles are firing up. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. High lunge, hands in prayer, twist. Let's bring the left hand on the floor, roll onto the outer edges of the feet. Take a side plank, pull the belly in, inner thigh squeezing towards the midline. Start side plank, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Plank. And you can move your hips side to side, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Chaturanga. Downward facing dog. Take the left leg up. Step it through. High lunge. Ten step ins. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and same prayer twist. right hand on the floor, roll onto the outer edges of the feet, that's a quick hip opener, side plank, feel free to adjust here of course for the star side plank for the beginners you can bring the bottom knee on the floor and lift the top leg up and down, otherwise take a full side plank and let's go one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Plank. Moving the hips ten times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Chaturanga. And up dog. Chaturanga. Down dog. 
inhale the right leg up step it through warrior one you can straighten the knee and bend the knee a few times just feeling your hip alignment here your leg alignment your back leg alignment feeling feeling the pose And here we're going to shift a little more of your weight onto the right leg and step step your left leg out and back to warrior one one two belly in three four five six seven eight nine ten and back to warrior one hands over the heart shifting to warrior three bring your hands down on the floor you can keep the right knee bent come up with a straight back knee to elbow one knee to elbow really pull the belly in two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, step it back, warrior one, Let's bring the right hand on the right hip, left arm reaches in front of us, shifting into half moon pose. Work with this. If it's too much to go into the full half moon, have your both hands on the floor and work towards lifting the back heel up. Great. Step it back. Plank, hip swirl. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Chaturanga. Up dog. Chaturanga. Downward facing dog. Inhale the left leg up. Step it through. Warrior one. So focus on the strength in your left leg. Fire up the muscles, quads, booty, and you can shift forward. And let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Warrior one. You can feel the alignment here. Straighten the leg, bend the knee. Feel the hips, feel the pelvis. And let's bring the hands in prayer. Warrior three. Level the hips. You can keep the standing knee slightly bent. Great, let's touch the floor and come up, knee to elbow. One, two, three, really squeeze, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And step it back in warrior one. Left hand onto the hip, right arm forward. And we're gonna go into half moon. Whenever you're ready, take the left arm up. Take your gaze up. Press the heel up. Breathe, press the left hip back. And 
back to plank. Hip swirl. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Plank, chaturanga, up dog, chaturanga, down dog. You can do mini lion pose, take your tongue out. Let a ha, ha sound out. All right, good. Inhale the right leg up. Step it through directly into warrior two. Again, experience the pose. Lower, straighten, lower. We're working not just on strength, but also on flexibility here, body awareness, steadiness. Reverse the warrior. Side angle, elbow over the knee, hand on the floor, whatever feels good here. And we're going to bend the back knee to give, it will give us a little bit of a push so we can transition into half moon, gliding the right hand in front of the right leg, open the hip, Flex the foot. Here, again, slowly begin to stand up, standing just on your right leg. Coming up into a standing star pose. And we're gonna lift the left leg 10 times, flexing the body. One, two, working on balance. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, back to half moon, back to side angle, reaching over the head, exhale both hands down, you can turn the back heel straight up and either stay here in a hip opener or hip flexor opener or take a little bit of a arm balance. In Chaturanga, up dog, down dog, take a big breath in and prepare for the next side. Take the left leg up, step it through directly into warrior two. We're really covering all of yoga in a very tight session. Let's call it very concise. Feel the pose here, feel the pelvis. Reverse it. You can do the wrap behind, it's really not necessary or mandatory, just whatever feels good here. If you're advanced, you probably do it anyways, and if you're more on the beginner side, you hold back on most poses. So, and side angle. Here you will bend the back knee and shift into half moon. If you can, look up. It does challenge your balance. I think balancing is one of the most important factors in longevity and preserving our health. So it is good to work on balancing and working with machines and bars and all of that prevents you from upkeeping your balance or developing it. All right, star pose, standing. See, that's the balancing part here. You can, of course, hold on to something, but you don't have to. Shall we? Press the leg back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And you can transition back into side angle.
and let's bring both hands on the floor left heel or right heel straight up i just stay here lower down or try an arm balance or just try to work on this flexibility or you can just take one leg off the floor and and i'm having here a little bit of space issue so there you go all right and take it back chaturanga up dog down dog we're progressively increasing the complexity of the combinations you can shift back and forth here and let's bring the feet to the front lower than the per first time chair whatever lower means for you hands on the floor plank start plank just run or push up feet at the front in a white squat stay in the white low squat jump in jump out hands on the ground push up jump to the front so that's a combination creative burpee something a little a little different than a pure burpee stay low jump in jump out jump back push up of course you can do push up from your knees everything is adjustable really as long as you study alignment with my beginner classes you are pretty much self-led with the rest that's the whole point a few more of those great and come on to all fours round the back arch round arch round come back to neutral bring your feet to the front legs in front of you inhale reach exhale forward fold hands behind you reverse plank press the hips as high as you can lower down open the legs forward fold inhale coming up and press up reverse plank because it is <laughs> so much fun really press your entire and the entire back of your body is working the posterior chain here hamstrings and glutes are on fire back is on fire calves all right one more time forward bend this time bring the soles of the feet together we're doing work stretch work stretch as i said espresso shot means we're gonna get a lot of yoga and interval training in one short fun sweet i'm gonna call it gentle session but it's gentle It is not gentle on the ego. It is not gentle on in that particular sense. One more reverse plank. It is gentle in the sense that we just smoothly flow through one from one pose to another. We work seamlessly while we stretch. And we gently develop massive strength. lift 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 and 
Let's bring the right ankle on the outside of the left knee. Twist here, lengthen through the crown of the head. Change sides. Open the chest, lengthen, press the heel down, twist. Really feel as if you're being pulled up. So there's quite a bit of length here. Inhale forward and we're gonna do a quick up session. Draw the belly in, bring the right knee in, left knee in, really draw in. Right, left, right, left, right, left. You can come up and again alternate, alternate, alternate. Alternate. And cross your legs, bring your hands in front, straighten the legs, right leg in front of the left. Stretching here with a forward bend. Look ahead of you, shift. So now the right foot is behind, forward bend. And now unwrap, feet about hip width apart, bend the knees and roll up to standing. Roll the shoulders back and down, standing tall and hands over the heart deep breath through the heart area chin parallel to the floor staying elongated Great, thank you all for joining me today for this espresso quick. <laughs>